Why, hello there. My name is Kenji Dick. And I'm Claudia Buick. And this is Wittenberg Radio. It is episode 112, and it is January 23rd, 2018. Claudia, how are you doing? I'm great. How are you, Kenji? I'm doing uh, A-OK. So you were asking last week about what character I identify in uh, the Chronicles of Narnia, and I'm going to be asking you a similar question in relation to another popular kids franchise uh, book series and also movie series, that of Harry Potter. Harry Potter. What character, if you have read the series or have seen the series, uh, do you identify with the most in this magical franchise? Oh, boy. There's so many good ones. I love Harry Potter. Yeah, okay. Um, but I will say that I was not as intense of a fan as many of my peers. You weren't a Potterhead per I se? I honestly was terrified um, <laughs> of Voldemort. I had dreams where I would wake up in my dream and he'd be like leaning over me with a knife. Yeah. Even though why would he have a knife? <laughs> but like with a knife ready to like stab my face. <laughs> or I used to have a dream where I was like in this like hole in the ground and he would stand above it with his wand facing down there'd be like green lights i was terrified of voldemort um and so i read the first four books in elementary school and i got so afraid after the fourth one when he came back yeah that i was was like no i can't do this and then uh by the time grade 10 rolled around i was like okay claudia like get it together you have to see you have to read the rest of these and so i read them in like the course of one summer i read the last three books and was just like in i don't know in awe of the complexity and the yeah. amazingness of this story and how did jk rowling <laughs> come up with all of this yeah and i yeah. watched all the movies i had like a harry potter marathon and i just loved it um and yeah um really just really good but i don't i don't know why i'm saying that because everyone knows this but <laughs> whatever uh to answer your question my favorite character or who do i identify with most yeah i really i know this is kind of like everyone's favorite but i really like dobby the host elf. he's he's a classic well, he's let me a tell you classic ya. um and i find the character of snape just complex and wonderful and awesome and i yeah i used to be terrified of him as well right but but he's great um and just like the whole weasley clan Mm. i love the weasleys Mm. yeah i don't know i don't know that's not really a concise they're just all so good what's yours what's mine i mean i don't know i liked when i was a kid and you know full of arrogance as i still am now i used to like to think i was i was a lot like harry potter himself you know but i think actually i i i uh there's a lot of things I lack in this character, so I can't say that. The only basis I really had for that was that I was a white kid with brown hair and <laughs> yeah, glasses. Yeah, you look like him. <laughs> yeah, vaguely look like him, uh, as many other children do across yeah. the globe. Um, really, if I had to pick a character, I don't know. Ron's clumsiness is like something I can kind of relate to a lot. Um, yeah. Just that kind of like clumsy nature, but the kind of protective nature is something that I like kind of want to appeal to. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's pretty admirable in that. So I'll go with that for now. Great. Awesome. And with that, let's talk about upcoming events. Some upcoming events include this week's episode topic, Wellness Week. This entire week is chock full of events um, where you can go and take care of yourself. uh, From free massages and smoothies to uh, counselor discussions or meetings with counselors, relaxation yoga, snacks that are healthy, music therapy. You should definitely go check it out. It's going to be a nice fun week to really pamper yourself and take care of yourself also if you're uh, i don't know at an event like this and feel like tweeting or instagramming be sure to include the hashtag be well cmu um this way all of the ex- experiences will join together and it will be wonderful or even more wonderful than it already will be in other news there is a mennonite heritage gallery uh, exhibit opening on friday it's part of, uh, of Reconciliation Through the Arts. It will be featuring First Nations art uh, from communities all around, I think, Manitoba. So go check that out. It's on campus, and I think we often forget that we have an art gallery really close. So go check it out and make the best of this space that we have here so close to us. That could also even be part of something that you do for your wellness this week. <laughs> All 
right, today on the uh, Wittenberg Radio episode that you are currently listening to, we are talking to Sandra Lepke, Charlie Peronto, and Danielle Morton. They are people that work at CMU and have really long titles, which I will say because I took the time to write them all down so that I would get them right. So here goes. Danielle is the spiritual life facilitator and the coordinator of commuter programs. Get a load of that. Sandra Lepke is the coordinator of international student and accessibility programs, and Charlie Peronto is the residence director. That one's pretty short after you've said all the other ones. So, yeah, there you go. That's what they do here. They also lead probably wonderful lives outside of CMU. And that's why they're here today to talk about what they do at CMU. All right. Well, welcome here, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, Thank Claudia. You. Thank you. Thank you. We're Thank glad you. to be here. <laughs> oh, it's good to have you here. So first question for Sandra. What is Wellness Week? Why does it exist? Well, this is our first time doing Wellness Week. Um, we have started a series of uh, safe and healthy community conversations that you may have heard about. Um, in the fall, it was consent and, oh, I can't remember what else we, healthy use of alcohol. There we go. Um, so, and we're just trying to hit on topics um, that students uh, deal with in their everyday lives and mental health awareness is a big conversation in our society, in our world right now. And so we thought we would um, try to, highlight some things that happen here on our campus and ways that our students can engage in wellness. Okay. Um, maybe for Charlie, why now, in like this week? Well, we're only a few weeks in now to the second semester, and when we were brainstorming times to do this, this is one of the times when we know students uh, really can get into a funk, can see part of uh, their life can be pretty difficult this time. Uh, we look outside and the days are very, very short. Um, it's a time when you start having assignments due. It's a time we know when we look at trends that mental health crises usually spike around the end of January, early February. So as we were thinking about times to do this, we thought what a great opportunity to try and bring a, bring a holistic uh, understanding of wellness and think about our physical health, our mental health, our spiritual health, our social health, and try and coordinate and collaborate with lots of different things that we do here at CMU and say, this is a good time to highlight that. So as we go into the final 10 weeks of school, we can um, begin to think about uh, wellness and, and begin to actually talk about it in a really healthy way, we think. Uh, Danielle, how about for you? How do you, um, what do you offer this week? What are the things that are part of Wellness Week? Well, we have quite a collection of activities. Um, there are schedules posted around campus as well. I have probably inundated your Facebook feed with some of them and will continue to do so. Um, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, you can have lunch um, in the folio. You will see the counselor of the day, the volunteer counselor of the day, sitting there enjoying their lunch. And they are there to simply have students come by, say hi, maybe meet them in a very um, non-committal way. Um, this afternoon, tomorrow afternoon, Sarah Driedger, uh, CMU alumni, is offering free 10-minute massages to students. There's opportunities to practice yoga. Sports and Rec is doing ice bowling, which we are all mildly confused about what that is, but also incredibly intrigued. Um, and also highlighting different things that happen around campus. Music therapists are going to organize a session and show us their, uh, their talents and their interests in what it means to be well. Uh, as well as spiritual practices, chapels, things like that. All right. Can I ask you guys um, what you do to stay well? Uh, for me, uh, one of the most important things that I do to stay well is I am an avid walker. Um, one of the best decisions I made in my adult life was getting a dog. Uh, so I take my dog uh, for incredible walks um, every single day adventures uh, adventures through the wilderness um, but just uh, having physical activity no matter rain or shine or snow or sleet or minus 40 degrees or plus 30 degrees and mosquitoes uh, anything that uh, Manitoba can offer for me uh, is really important to maintain consistent physical activity even with something as simple as a walk so I, I start out every single day with an hour-long walk and that's just a really great way to help me have at least the bare minimum physical activity I know that I need in order to be healthy mm -hmm. uh, so starting starting with um, basic physical activity like walking is is for me the bedrock of maintaining just health in general but also my mental health mm -hmm. 
Um, I would say physical health is definitely very important. You get into a slump if you've sat on the couch for too long. Um, for me, though, I find that I get fed mostly through creative ways. So whether that's um, being a part of a choir that's meeting regularly, just sitting down at my piano and playing for a little while, or even taking up crocheting or spending some time painting or doing stained glass or sewing, um, I find seasons where there are lots of birthdays or Christmas is coming up really enjoyable for me because I get to figure out what I could maybe make my nieces and nephews. Mm -hmm. um, and then that kind of A, alleviates the stress of buying lots of gifts and B, uh, gives me an opportunity or like a really good excuse, one could say, to be creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for me, um, I really enjoy reading. And so escaping into a book is sometimes a way of just decompressing from a, a heavy day. Um, also, just making sure to have people in my life that I can uh, process my day with, uh, especially as I live alone. Um, so making sure that I'm in regular contact with friends and family um, who can be my sounding board um, just to talk through what I'm experiencing at work or, or even in my personal life. And then uh, attending church, um, going for walks, catching up with friends over coffee, those kinds of things are just a regular part of how I function yeah <laughs> stay healthy mm -hmm. i'm curious uh about who's all involved in wellness week and how you contacted them like when did this start and how much work has it been to coordinate all of this um we like Sir uh, sandra said um we have an amazing amount of activities here on campus mm -hmm. already happening that are um, under kind of the, the umbrella of wellness. And so a lot of it was simply highlighting what's already happening and tapping into those resources. So for instance, Laura Dirksen is offering, uh, she leads yoga twice a week. Um, and so she is still like, she was just excited to have the opportunity to do that. The music therapists were, um, when I contacted Leanne and Michelle, they took it to the students and they were immediately excited to have the opportunity to share with their peers what they love. Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of the different student uh, student council groups, sports and life, or sports and recs, faith in life. Um, Nathan Duick did uh, organize the smoothies this yeah. morning. That was incredible. Yeah, he crushed that. <laughs> I just want to say, like this morning, like I, I was in a morning class and you know we were in middle of a break and we just found like this giant boxes of booster juices just sitting around and like truly a sight to behold i was like <laughs> wow a monday incredible. miracle a monday yeah. miracle we were thrilled and like i don't know i was like dang this is this is already off to a hot start so just yeah. want to just want to say that was incredible <laughs> great yeah and prim this the morning snacks are kind of being hosted by different uh student life student leadership groups um so student council had this morning the cas are taking tomorrow international student council on wednesday ra's on thursday and then we're rounding off the week so it's just been it's a really great collaborative effort with different groups around campus it also includes a lot of the volunteers that we have on campus right. like our oh, uh, student uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, the oh. counselors, as well as one of our campus nurses, who's also a volunteer, Evelyn Lefrank, is going to be here at noon tomorrow, mm -hmm. kind of talking to people about like, hey, do you actually have a family doctor? A lot of young adults mm -hmm. don't even take the time to make that happen. And that's an important piece of your health is taking care of your medical health. Yeah, for us, uh, Wellness Week was an opportunity to do some new and exciting things, but also to highlight all the things that are already happening on our campus because we do have a lot of things going on and we want to bring an, uh, a vision of wellness as a holistic, uh, holistic endeavor for mm -hmm. each person. And so we wanted to highlight all the different areas that our students are taking leadership in doing, that uh, us as administrators are taking leadership doing and bringing them together and saying, all of this is working towards the goal of wellness. And by bringing it together with a wellness week title, we're able to kind of bring uh, bring a light into all of these different areas and highlight them. And, and we think that this is a great opportunity for students to, and staff and faculty, to get an understanding of all the different initiatives we have. And it also mm -hmm. helps us see the different gaps that we have. And so when we looked at everything, we saw some of the different gaps we have. That's why we're bringing in one of our campus nurses to help students be able to connect with a family doctor in the city because having a family doctor really can be very helpful if you have any sort of medical emergency because that really expedites the process of how you're able to get good care. Uh, so some of those holes that we noticed that students may have, we tried to fill those in this wellness week uh, as a way to highlight them. Mm -hmm. I think another um, another point would just be 
you mentioned how it transcends students um, and how I think today's forum on living with mental health was a really uh, excellent example of, you know, the, the four brave souls that spoke today. Really, each of them are on their way through a journey. None of them have arrived at a spot that is going to carry them through the rest of their life. And I don't think any of us are um, outside of that. And so I think the idea that wellness is a journey is something that um, one of our very creative students kind of ran with and created this big collective art piece for us. It's located in the student center and we would just love it for everyone to come and share a thought or an idea that they have on what it means for wellness to be a journey for them and how that um, has maybe been um, has, how that's maybe come to life or manifested itself in their life or how they plan to incorporate that throughout the week or the year or their life. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not everyone is um, as brave as the people who are willing to stand in front of a, a panel and, and share their most vulnerable piece of their, of their experience. Um, but I think it's important for everyone to express what they're feeling and how they um, have experienced wellness or unwellness. Um, and so the art project is one way for people to do that anonymously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think it's just, I don't know, it's comforting to me to hear that these are all, or most of them are volunteers. Are they all, I think? I don't know, whatever. Um, yeah. yeah, but that that is just a testament to how deeply people care about this and about the well-being of, of students here. Um, that's quite incredible that, that people are so willing to give up their time and energy to care for us and to, to be there for us, right? So... Um, it's really quite incredible and I'm just excited that this is happening um maybe to finish off I just wanted to ask how we can maybe turn what we learned this week through wellness week into into practices is there something uh set up that we can I think take take away from wellness week and and keep going with through the rest of our semester or hope maybe lives um how would you respond to someone asking how this goes past and beyond wellness week I think the the amount of things that's on the schedule could be overwhelming because mm -hmm. there's so many things. I think uh, going off what one of our speakers said this morning is pick the one that gives you joy, that mm. makes you happy, and pick one and make that something that you put into your schedule. You don't have to take them all. You don't have to do all of the things on there. Uh, that can create all kinds of anxiety and stress right. for people if they try <laughs> to do that. But pick one and just stick with it and make it a sacred time in your week. Yeah, yeah. whether that's the fitness class on 11.30s each week that happens, um, maybe this is the week that you finally try it out, um, or maybe you've wanted to be, take up like knitting or crocheting, and so you check out the Crafts for a Cause on Thursday evening. Like mm -hmm. These are people that have found something that they're passionate about, and they just want to be able to share it with people um, and to welcome others into that. So, Yeah, we would really just uh, encourage students to embrace a little bit of schedule to embrace uh, a little bit of structure because <laughs> I think as we've all talked about our own lives and the things that help us be well holistically is having a little bit of structure creates a lot of freedom. Um, and so, yeah, so we'd really encourage people to pick one thing, try it, stick with it, do it as a daily practice. And really you'll find uh, a lot of freedom in just a little bit of structure allows a lot of flexibility. Hmm. All right, well, we're out of time, but you guys have all said wonderful things. I think, um, yeah, it just shows how, how deeply our school, I think, cares for us as students. And thank you for coming on and talking about this um, and planning it. I hope you're all well <laughs> after, <laughs> after quite the coordination uh, test here that this was, I think, looking at the schedule. And if you're listening, I encourage you to participate in whatever event speaks to you as something that you would enjoy doing. Um, and yeah, make sure that you are taking care of yourself and those around you. Uh, this is something that affects all of us. So thank you for coming. Thanks for joining us uh, and have a good day. Thanks guys. Thanks for having us. Thank you very much. My music pick for this week is a song by Big Thief. Big Thief is a band that my roommate especially right now is really into and I've uh, I guess known about them for a while but I'm re-falling in love with their music all over again. Um, Big Thief, yeah, is awesome. You should listen to them. The song today is Masterpiece. Uh, it was actually in introduced to me by my brother and he just plays it on repeat because it's so awesome. So I hope you'll enjoy it too. <laughs> i
That brings an end to our episode. Thank you again for listening to Wittenberg Radio. Remember to rejuvenate on your health during Wellness Week. There are numerous events happening all over campus, all of them unique, fun, and totally awesome. So do keep in mind to check out those events. Also, remember to go to the Mennonite Heritage Gallery on campus and check out the new exhibit that is opening. It will be good. It will be grand. My name is Kenji Dick. And I'm Claudia Duick. And we'll see you next week. Wittenberg Radio is a production of CMU Student Council. The views and opinions expressed by hosts and guests are not necessarily those of CMU Student Council.